awesome info kids. Cupboard, it can be fun, it can be challenging. It can really get you moving, get your heart pumping. I'm Odin from Somerville, Massachusetts, the traditional land of the Massachusetts people. Capoeira is a Brazilian martial art. It comes from Brazil, the largest country in South America. This huge blue area right here, that is Brazil. Right now I'm interviewing my instructor, Tigre Bronco. My instructor's name is Breno Di Martino. His capoeira nickname is Tigre Bronco, which translates to White Tiger. Thank you, Odin. Hello, Genio. So, genius. His name is Genio in Portuguese. In capoeira, we all have nicknames, and my nickname's Genio, genius. The language that we speak in Brazil it's Portuguese. Do you know how capoeira like started? Capoeira was born in Africa and grew up in Brazil. The movements and rhythms came from Africa. Enslaved African people brought to Brazil by the Portuguese created capoeira. Brazil was for a while a colony of Portugal. And because of capoeira, I am learning some Portuguese words myself. The first movement you learn in capoeira is called ginga. Ginga is a Portuguese word that translates to swing or rock back and forth. The music's purpose is to set the mood. I have to say my favorite instrument would be, yeah, the venom bow. The berimbau is the main instrument in capoeira. It's the one that gives you the rhythm. The bow is the main part of the instrument. There's a string. It's the main musical part. This part is called the cabasa. On your typical day on the job teaching, other kids about capoeira, how would you start it off? So we started off in a stretch, then we go to a crab walk, frog jump, everybody doing jinga, working the basic movements, which is um, the roots, they're very important. And then in the end, we do the circle. Right now, what's going on is a hoda. Hoda translates to circle. My instructor, Tigri, you can see his techniques are pretty effective. And that's me he's playing with. When your partner do a movement, you react with another movement. So it's a dialogue. One do this, the other one respond with a different thing. You're on your toes, but you're also like having a lot of fun at the same time. because it's a great way to like make new friends, learn a new thing. This is me and Leo doing Jenga together and you may see we're mirroring each other. Doing capoeira with Leo is part of how we became friends. And right now what I'm doing is corta capin. Corta capin translates to cut grass and you do kind of like a blade of the lawnmower's movement. What capoeira is to me, and I think it's the same for my instructor, Tigre, and for my friends in capoeira. It's like a treasure to us. We're all gonna have it up here probably for the rest of our lives. Thank you very much, Genio. It was a pleasure to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. And I'll see you soon. Later. To watch more, please check out the PBS Kids video app. Hey everyone! Molly of Denali is made possible in part by...
a ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by viewers like you. Thank you. Masi Cho! Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app.